If you've ever played a Nintendo 64, a Sega Genesis, or any other game that requires a cartridge, then you have this man, Mr. Jerry A. Lawson, to thank. Jerry Lawson was, and still is, a pioneer with regard to African Americans and video games and tech. He led the team of engineers that completely revolutionized the video game console, and with his invention, the video game cartridge, he completely changed the way that gamers access and store video game data. Born on December 1st, 1940 in Brooklyn, New York, Gerald Andrew Lawson's love for science was encouraged by his community. He was known in his neighborhood for his precociousness in all of the sciences, and at the young age of 13 years old, he became a licensed amateur radio operator. After getting his license, Lawson saved enough money to buy the parts to build a ham radio and eventually set up a small radio station in his bedroom. Additionally, Lawson turned his love for electronics into a hustle at a very young age. He quickly became the neighborhood electronics handyman, fixing television sets for others for money and even making house calls. As a young man, Lawson attended both Queens College and the City College of New York. However, he didn't earn a degree from either and pursued a career in programming instead. After a short while, he realized that his passion was not in programming, but was indeed in electronics. And in 1970, he moved out to Silicon Valley to join the Fairchild Semiconductor Company as an engineering consultant in their sales department. Lawson impressed his colleagues after inventing a coin-operated video game in his garage called Demolition Derby, which used the microprocessors that Fairchild created. He was eventually promoted to the chief hardware engineer and director of engineering and marketing for the company's video game division. It was during this tenure that his most renowned invention would come alive. Well, Lex, why was the creation of a video game cartridge so novel? Well, at the time, when people would buy consoles, they would come preloaded with a limited number of games. The creation of a potentially user-friendly, swappable, removable cartridge opened up people to have unlimited libraries of games, libraries that would only be relegated to the amount of cartridges a person could have in their house. The Fairchild Channel F console, which Lawson also led the invention of, was the first system that allowed players to swap out these cartridges to play. Though the Channel F was not as successful in its own right, cartridge technology took off with the release of Atari in the late 70s. After leaving Fairchild, Lawson founded his own company, Videosoft, that created games for Atari, including some of the first ever 3D rendered video games. After his company closed in the 80s, Lawson spent the rest of his life collaborating with other individuals and companies in and out of the video game and technology spaces and continued to share his love of tech throughout the rest of his life. Sadly, the world lost this icon on April 9, 2011 at the age of 70 years old from complications of diabetes. However, his legacy in gaming forever lives on and he has been awarded throughout his life lifetime and posthumously with several awards, accolades, profiles files on his life and he's even featured in a Netflix special about the history of video games called High Score. To this day, gaming is still not as diverse as it should be and many African Americans, people of color, women, and people who lie in all of those intersections still find difficulty getting acceptance in the gaming and technology communities. However, these spaces are for us. These spaces were created by people who look like us and every single day of this month and the rest, we will continue to celebrate and highlight their accomplishments as African Americans in this country and in this world. Happy Black History Month.